Hi everyone and welcome to my newest video. I am going to talk to you about how I lost two stone in two months and um, I've, I've had a lot of requests to do a video on how I've lost weight. I put on a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of weight when I had my children and I went up to a crazy, crazy, crazy number on the scales like for me I am 4'11 I'm not even 5 foot and I weighed like I don't even want to say it to be honest shall I I don't know no I'm not gonna say it but I weighed a lot so basically I was feeling really depressed and really rubbish about myself and I was like you know what why don't I just do something to change it like there's some there was, there was just something that clicked in me one day and was like I need to lose weight because I'm not happy with how I am and how I feel about myself and like how I feel in clothes and I just felt rubbish so I think the main thing about losing weight is the fact that you have to want to do it and genuinely want to do it because the amount of times that I've tried to lose weight in the past I've wanted to do it but I'm just like mate I'm gonna have another baby soon so I was like I might as well just eat this extra cookie this extra chocolate bar just carry on eating this bag of crisps or whatever but since like the click moment happened I was like you know what I'm gonna actually do this like I'm actually gonna lose weight now and it worked like since I thought about that I was like how do you actually lose weight this is my snack today. <laughs> so before I start and explain to you how I actually lost weight, I just want to say that I am no like medical person. I don't know anything about like the medical side of it. Like I don't know if it's safe for you. It was fine for me. Like I've just I've lost weight and nothing's happened to me. Like I don't faint or anything like that. I'm not I'm not weak. I don't like black out. <laughs> I don't know like what happens. What happens to some people? I don't even know. But I just want to say that. If you try this just be careful and kind of know your limits kind of thing like um i don't know it's not dangerous or anything but i don't know everyone's different aren't they so just be careful but should we get started i think you want to know how i lost weight i'm gonna start by saying it's all about the calories so for me in my mind all i thought was i'm allowed a thousand calories a day like i went on the um what's it called fitness my fitness or something that app. wait let me just find out what it's called it's called fitness pal um i went on there i used to use that all the time like i used to kind of put everything that i ate in there this is when the t one of the times where i didn't lose any weight like when i was trying to so i put everything that i was eating in there and it just did my head in so much i was like forget this i am quitting this and then that's when i just carried on putting weight on on there it for my target, it said I was allowed to eat 1,200 calories. In my mind, I'm allowed to eat 1,000 calories a day. Like, I don't know if that's safe. I've not done any research. Like, it works for me. Like, I eat when I'm hungry. I don't eat extra. I don't snack. I don't eat, like, extra, like, empty calories. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, like, this, I need this because I'm really tired. This is a pick-me-up. This is also under, under 100 calories, so I know that um this will basically count as 100 calories for me because that's how i calculate it in my mind so like if i have a slice of bread that's 100 calories if i have an apple that's like 20 30 calories like apple like fruit is my best friend <laughs> but yeah so it depends on how i'm feeling on that day but i will eat something for breakfast maybe if i'm hungry if i'm not hungry in the morning then i'll wait until i do feel hungry in the afternoon or like later in the morning and i'll eat like a slice of toast or this morning i had this which is um like a guacamole avocado uh, avocado tomatoes garlic salt pepper chili flakes all that like i just made a guacamole um i spread that on one slice of toast which is just over 100 calories so in my mind that's like 150 calories I didn't use any butter or anything so that's about 150 calories and then I had an egg which is about 70 calories and I used um, that spray butter stuff which is I used four sprays which is four calories so that breakfast is about 100 no 250 calories so 
I aim to eat less than 300 calories in the morning or like in the afternoon most of the day and then I'll eat like a, if I'm really, if I'm hungry in the afternoon or like early evening I'll have like an apple or a pear or something like that and then in the evening I'll eat anything I want to like for dinner like I won't snack or anything on like crisps and chocolate and stuff after I've had my dinner I'll just eat my dinner like I'll have a McDonald's meal I'll have fish and chips I'll have a lasagna I'll have anything that I want but obviously in my mind I'm like um, I want to eat less calories so I'll go for the lighter option so I'll have like a diet coke instead of a full fat coke because then it's less calories so all throughout the day I just calculate what I've eaten throughout the day and I'll swap things like I don't drink like full fat coke anymore unless there's nothing else to drink then I'll drink it I'm not even gonna lie I do I had some yesterday um <laughs> but I now drink like Pepsi Max and diet coke and things like that if I'm hungry I won't go and pick up a packet of crisps I'll have an apple so if you understand what I'm saying I basically aim to eat under a thousand calories every single day um, I know that might not be healthy like I told my sister and she was like is that right you're supposed to eat like 2,000 calories I was like I don't even know but that's what I'm doing <laughs> but so today roughly I've had about 300 calories and then this is like 400 calories and then I won't eat anything now unless I'm starving but I'm still so full from breakfast I just kind of needed a bit of caffeine to wake me up so I got an iced latte in the evening I'm going out tonight to eat I'll show you what I eat um we're going to a restaurant I've never been there before so I don't know what I'm gonna order but since I've been doing this my appetite has lessened and I can't eat a lot anyway so I don't really eat a lot like I only eat until I'm full nicely full not like stuffed I eat until I'm just full it's basically all about the calories for me because obviously if you're eating less calories than your body kind of burns <laughs> then you will like lose weight because obviously you're eating less than you're meant to and obviously don't do it in a bad like a way that you're eating too little because obviously you will faint you will like die or something but um kind of eat but know your kind know your limits like know not to eat that bag of chocolate or that bag of crisps or um just swap out things like coke and diet coke for breakfast sometimes i'll just have a cereal bar or like if that's if i'm peckish in the morning then i'll have a little lunch the reason i carried on doing this diet, this diet, like this made up diet, is because I don't limit myself. Like if I was to say, no, I'm not allowed to eat any chocolate or any crisps or any fizzy drinks or any cheese, like any high calorie food, then I will not do it <laughs> because I love them kind of food. But you have to do it clever. So when Elisa has some chocolate, I'll have like a little bit of her chocolate. Or when Isa has a pack of crisps, I'll have like two or three pom bears or two or three quavers or whatever. Like, you just stop eating when you think you've had enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you've had enough calories in that day, then, you know, just don't eat. <laughs> I don't know. Just be careful, okay? Just don't do it in a stupid way that will make you ill, okay? So, yeah, that's how I lost weight. It took me two months to lose two stone. I thought I should also mention my scales. Like, I've got these scales, which is connected to an app. Which basically, tells you how much weight you've lost. It shows you the year. So here is the where I started, and then obviously it's gone down, down. Um, that is like how I've been tracking how much weight I've lost. The scales, you stand, you open the app, you stand on the scales and then it puts it into here for you and then puts it on a graph. So obviously you feel good when the graph goes down. <laughs> and that's another like motivational thing that I think has helped quite a lot. I haven't done any working out or any like gym or walking or like anything like that. I haven't done anything like that. Obviously physical activity is like running after my kids and things like that yeah I just I don't enjoy doing those things so I thought if I don't enjoy it then why am I gonna do it like it's just gonna make me not want to do it do you know what I mean like yeah so I also I eat I still eat McDonald's I still eat takeaways I still like I eat whatever I want in the evening I just make sure that I don't eat too much in the daytime so that it kind of balances it out do you know what I mean so yeah that is 
how I've lost two stone in two months. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of videos you want to see. If you want to see like what I eat in a day or anything really, just tell me what you want to see and I will try and do it. Um, I hope you like my new filming background. This is my favorite corner of the house now. It's right in front of my extension room windows and yeah. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it or like liked it. <laughs> Let me know if you're going to try this. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.